February the 18th, 2023. Guys, this is an update on the solar flare from this morning, and uh, they finally put the modeling up. I finally had time to sit down and look at it. It's been a real busy afternoon. And this is what we've got. Now, what you're looking at in the center, most of you are very aware of this, in the center of this diagram is the sun right there. Now, the earth is this yellow dot right there, okay? Now you've got Mars and Venus, Mercury around it, and some satellites that are showing. But what we're, what we're looking at here is the impact time. And actually, this is about an hour past. They paused this. Let me say something. This model used to be one you could watch the uh, CME leave the sun. You guys have probably seen it many times. Now on Solar Ham, which we've used for years and years, it's on our website, they just show a still model of the update. I don't know why they do that, but I will point this out. This is the CME right here, this red curve. This is the sun. This is from the X flare. And this shows impact on the planet but about an hour late i've watched it too long i can tell you so if they're saying 1800 hours on the 19th which would be about noon eastern time tomorrow then you can i would say 10 30 to 11 p.m is the time this is going to strike the planet now when they used to have the full models they would always have a plus or minus seven hours as far as the window of impact just to point that out because it's when the things uh when solar flare creates a cme it leaves the sun it's like a um, 22 bullet coming out of a rifle muzzle velocity is much faster than if you travel a long way the bullet has slowed down same way with this now i know the flat earthers don't like me saying this get over it but the sun is here the earth is here there and that that's called one astronomical unit one au the distance between the sun and earth, that's 93 million miles. So by the time that it leaves the sun, gets 93 million miles, it has slowed down some. And so that's where you get the plus or minus seven hours of impact. Very strong uh, CME. Again, tomorrow, I'd say before noon. And uh, the strength of the CME is very strong. One of the reasons I'm doing this is we've seen these strong quakes around the planet. Turkey and those guys over in Syria, they're over 40,000 deaths, still getting people out. But our plates, uh, our tectonic plates are under stress right now, so it's important to watch this. Guys, I don't know how many of you were here when the Fukushima quake happened, watching our channel, but we tracked an x2 flare an x1 flare maybe it was three two or three x layers back to back that left the sun and as tokyo turned into the sun that afternoon and that solar flare struck we had the fukushima earthquake some people say it was an underground missile or whatever it was a x flare that hit the planet at, i think it was 245 or something in that area uh, of time in the afternoon and Japan was uh, turning towards the sun. It was daylight there. And that has a lot to do with the impact. In other words, if the U.S. is, if it's daylight here, then we're sun facing, right? So uh, that is the side the bullet comes from. But when you compress the tectonic plates on our planet, it has the effect, a chain reaction, because one plate will affect the other. But again, that nine point quake, I think it was a nine point that hit uh, Fukushima or hit uh, Japan and caused a Fukushima disaster was from the sun. And so we have to always pay attention to these events, especially when you're dealing with X flares. But I wanted to update this. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I'm not going to go into the um, information here about Bidenville, and I have not had the time today to do a... Um, z-man bidenville video there's two new articles up there there's been a lot of strikes that have happened dozens and dozens and dozens of missiles 40 percent of the powers out including uh, thermal power plants a nuclear plant uh, all kind of uh, problems like that they launched them from the black sea go there war news 24 7.com uh, gr for greek i'm going to link it i'm not going to show it here and i have not had time 
to put the uh, video up anywhere on Rumble or on Patreon, guys. So, uh, again, look in the description for what's going on overseas. But we need to watch this. Tomorrow, 1800 hours. It's around noon again, Eastern Time. So, between 11, noon, 1 o'clock, watch for this impact. It's on. They weren't sure if it was even going to be a direct impact, but we're pretty much center of this curve. Here's the red, I mean the yellow dot right there that represents our planet. And this is the wave that's going to cross it right there, guys. So be uh, aware of that, and let's keep an eye on it. Again, I'll link to the information from overseas. We're watching this. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.